Akahai, kindness, tenderness. Lokahi, unity, harmony. Olu Olu, agreeable, pleasant. Ha Ahaha, ha, humility, modesty. Ahonui, patience, perseverance. The Aloha spirit is real simple. You give and you give and you give and you give from here until you have nothing else to give. Rel Sun. You know I'm gonna have a lot to say about this box. You know it. Yeah, and you know it's gotta be good because we're talking about Hawaiian skincare and I've gotta do it up right. Yeah, you guys can just see in my face, right? I'm just really excited. Um, and I'm also really excited because we have a special guest. Aloha kako, my name is Kapua Browning and I'm the founder of Honua Hawaiian Skincare. And I'm really excited to be doing this interview with Marie. Um, oh, my top bun fell, I'll have to fix it later. I told her I would wear a top bun to a half up, half down, nod to the 80s, but. That's right, Kapua Browning from Honua Skincare is here with us today to share a little bit about her skincare line and her products that are featured in the June Beauty Heroes box. Those products are the Aloha You Serum and the Olena Beauty Oil. Because I have a lot to say and because Kapua has um, thoughts here to share with us today, I'm going to jump right in. I'm also going to divide the video into ingredients, formulation, application, and then kind of Honua Skincare's mission. So let's jump right in. <laughs> so let's talk ingredients. I had to put this first because you know it's my favorite thing to talk about. And the ingredients in these two products are amazing. So the Olena Beauty Oil and the Aloha You Serum, the first thing that struck me as I looked through their ingredients list was Kapua's use of the Hawaiian canoe plants. These are plants that when the Hawaiians voyaged to Hawaii, they made room for them in the canoe. That means they had to be tried and tested and proven to be effective for them to make room in these canoes to bring them here and to cultivate them and to pass down these traditions of using them in a medicinal way. So when I looked through this ingredient list, I was like, there could be nothing more amazing to me than the things that she's packed in here. So really quickly, it is, the Aloha You Serum, it is a water, kind of oil emulsion. It's a milky, creamy look to it. She's got aloe vera, she's got water, she's got coconut water, she's got rose hydrosol, she's got an, a really nice base there of hydrating products. Then she's got CO2 extracts to feed the skin of hibiscus, olena, the ava, and then she's got it all mixed in with kukui nut oil, tamanu oil, and chia seed oil. I was so excited to see that in both of these products she's used a significant amount of kukui nut oil. I have always wondered why the beauty industry doesn't jump on using kukui nut and macadamia nut oil. They are amazing oils for the skin. Kukui nut specifically is very gentle. It's good for all skin types. It is also very balanced as far as its fatty acid composition, and it also is renowned for its pe skin penetrating results. That means the CO2 extracts in here, plus the water-based ingredients, you know your skin is gonna benefit from using this Aloha You Serum because it's been so well formulated. Now, one of the things that is in here that I, in both of these products that I wanted Kapua to talk about was the Nani fruit. If you've never seen a Nani fruit, oh, it's crazy looking. It looks like a brain and, and it smells like rotten cheese. And yet I've always been so fascinated with it because I say to myself, if the Hawaiians thought to bring it here, there has to be some unknown powers to it. So Kapua, could you tell us a little bit more about the Nani fruit? It's an ingredient that we use in both our Aloha Serum and our Olena oil. And here's the picture of our Nani. And it's a plant that was used quite a bit in Wine healing or la'alapa'o. They had over 40 different 
herbal remedies that they used this noni plant in because of its magical healing powers. Um, it has all of our vitamins. It has tons of minerals and nutrients and just amazing for all sorts of different um, health issues. Right now, the University of Hawaii actually got a grant to study it for a cure for our cancer. Um, so we'll see how that turns out, but it's amazing that they were even given that money to research it more thoroughly. Um, one of the traditional uses of noni, though, was as a bandage. So Hawaiians would take the leaf and they would apply it over wounds and ulcers to help um, kill any of the bacteria, to heal the wound, and also to help to regenerate um, that area. They would also take cut bits of the fruit and the leaf and put it into the wounds and put it into cuts and use it for topical um, skin healing. And so as an esthetician, um, our family had been using this plant for years for other reasons, but when I became an esthetician, I really started breaking it down and looking at why. And one of the reasons why it's so great for the skin is because it is high in vitamin C and selenium. It has a potent source of natural vitamin C. And what makes a natural source so much better than a synthetic is your skin is able to accept it more readily and easier. Um, and so vitamin C is really great for brightening the skin, helping with sun damage and pigmentation, and just an all-around beautiful anti-aging ingredient. Uh, Noni also has every one of our antioxidant vitamins, A, vitamin A, C, and E. It also it has vitamin B and other minerals like I talked about earlier. Isn't it just so exciting to have her here? Isn't, doesn't her just beautiful spirit shine through? You know I get so happy. Okay, now let's talk about formulation. Because when I opened up the Aloha You Serum and looked it over, I was really impressed at how she had blended hydrating ingredients with CO2 extracts and then the beautiful blend of oils. It just seemed like so well thought out and the Beauty Heroes pamphlet that they put in the box really expressed it well. It's the blending of ancient Hawaiian medicinal plants with modern skincare. It is as fine a serum I think as any out there. It is so beautiful and what really impressed me was that right now it seems like in the beauty industry or maybe it's just always been this way but every time you flip through an Instagram feed you're like this new product has this scientific ingredients that's going to change your life and turn back the clock and oh yeah bring you coffee too and oh yeah it's two hundred dollars yeah no I, as much as I love science I'm not seduced by these new fancy ingredients um, what I am convinced of and what I will put my money down for and what I do want to try on a consistent basis is ingredients that have stood the test of time um, from living here in Hawaii, I know the power of these plants and so I am really excited to try using this product on a consistent basis. So anyway, because I think it's such expert formulation, I really wanted Kapua to share a little bit about how that whole process came about for her. This one's actually a really fun uh, product for me because it's a fusion of my passion for Hawaiian culture as well as modern skincare and aesthetics. I am quite the aesthetic geek. Um, when I became an esthetician over 10 years ago, I, my classmates would always tease me. I had graduated top of the class or whatever it was, but I would be just deep in books, constantly reading and researching the different ingredients and technology. And I wanted to know everything. I went to every conference, um, flew to Vegas and wherever I could. Since I was in Hawaii and I felt kind of on an island, I traveled a lot to different skincare conferences and trade shows to really learn more. I wanted to know as much as I could. And to this day, I feel like I don't even know nearly half of what I still want to learn. So, um, but so skincare is a huge passion of mine. And um, 
when I became an esthetician, though, I knew I really wanted to work with our native Hawaiian plants because culture was also very important to me. But I didn't want to create products that didn't really work. Um, I wanted very high functioning, um, almost medical grade, where people can see quick results. And so when I created this serum, I took my traditional formulation um, of the Olena oil. So we do use um, in that formulation some of the Olena oil. So we take the kukui kamani and chia seed oils and we traditionally infuse them using the noni cacao and um, olena, Hawaiian turmeric. But we also put a modern twist on it. I, for one, wanted a water-based feeling serum. I love beauty oils, don't get me wrong, but I'm just one of those people when I use a serum, I want it to feel silky and creamy and I like that texture. Um, so I knew I needed to use a little bit of that um, water-based consistency, but I didn't want any just plain water fillers. I don't believe in taking up space with that either. So I basically put it in there for the consistency, and but we use the vitalized water, um, which is a pretty complex step water treatment um, that I... Um, work with actually a woman, an herbalist up here in Northern California who creates that part for me and she, I partnered with her when I started um, working on this formula because as much as I had the aesthetic background and some formulation training that I studied with a woman um, on the Big Island and I also had our traditional Hawaiian um, techniques, I wanted her more modern and American um, herbal expertise as well because I thought that was important especially now that I had to come here and create product for more people. Um, so we use the vitalized water, um, coconut water, rose hydrosol and also aloe vera base and that's the main um, base that you're feeling. So, and then we combine that with the um, oil, the traditional oil infusion. And what's also cool in here is I wanted to add a CO2 extractions of our olena and our hibiscus or alo alo and noni to ensure that we're really getting deep down in there. And our CO2s allow us to do that. Um, so we have our CO2 infusions, our traditional infusions, as well as this um, modernized water oil infusion that gives us that really soft, silky feel and allows the product to penetrate pretty immediately. It's a nice drink. I call it kind of like a drink for your skin. I always feel like once I put it on, my skin just kind of slurps it all up. Um, and I think it's also because the oils we use are also very, um, they're, skin accepting oils or oils that our skin naturally loves and takes in. So nothing really sits heavy on the skin. Um, so just a little bit of fun background on our Aloha Youth Serum and why I created it that way. Okay, so let's talk routine. I don't usually wash my face in the morning. Sometimes I will and if I do, it's usually with the Little Fox Jungle Glow. Then I'll use my Anna Rose toner from Moon. Then I was using two to three to four light layers of the Wamisa Organic Flowers Deep Rich Toner. Then I would follow with Josh Rosebrook. Well, where I've subbed the Aloha You Serum in is right here where the Wamisa toner was. Because it's got those beautiful hydrating ingredients like water, aloe, coconut water, rose hydrosol, it's been working really well just subbed right in there where that Wamisa toner was. I've been using two to three very light layers. Um, and then I'll put on the final coat of the Josh Rosebrook Nutrient Day Cream. And my skin has just been awesome. It has been so hydrated. It's been maintaining hydration all day. Now granted that's partially because it's summer now here. It's super hot. The skin is already holding on to more water because the humidity in the air is like 10,000%. But still, 
I'm really enjoying this Aloha Youth Serum. Now, if you're wondering what my routine might be at night, I might use one of these three cleansers. I did just pick this Pa'akai up. Same toner, same two light layers, and then the Josh Rosebrook Vital Balm Cream. Now you heard me say that I haven't really been using oils. Well, how have I worked the Olana Beauty Oil into my routine? I've been adding it to my dry face masks. It's been amazing. The Kukui Nut Oil, the Tamanu Oil, the beautiful Hawaiian Turmeric. Just been taking my face masks to the next level. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was Honua Skincare's commitment to supporting sustainable agriculture in Hawaii and Kapua and her family's commitment to supporting that. There's a Hawaiian word called kuleana, um, has to do with a sense of responsibility and stewardship. And so what I was really interested to hear about from Kapua was who the people were in her life that instilled those values and those traditions in her. All right, so on to the last part of our interview. Um, I really enjoyed taking the time to share more information about Honua and these specific questions with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Oh, I totally lost this battle with the top button here, but oh well. On to our last topic, which is talking about our, um, the, the Hawaiians really believed in Kuleana and their responsibilities and one of them is to malama aina or aloha aina and it's to care for the land or love the land and they truly believe that in order for us to sustain ourselves and continue living in this beautiful place that you need to give back to the land that provides for us and it just makes total sense that why wouldn't we why wouldn't we love her and care for her and give back to her the way that she does for us? And who instilled this in me? Um, well, my family in general. I feel I was lucky to be born into it, um, to a family that was very involved in um, not only the Hawaiian farming communities in Hawaii, but also... A lot of the protesting, I spent a lot of years growing up, I remember holding signs and doing marches and protests um, for different rights, whether it was taking away um, the water um, for the kalo farmers or and using it in golf courses, just really bad things. I remember also um, protesting with um, a bunch of different family farms also for to be able to keep the land they wanted to bulldoze a hawaiian church and farmland that we would go to every sunday and the governor wanted to kick everybody out who was living there they um, were um, need a lot of natives from kalaupapa which is a place on molokai where they had hansen's disease or leprosy and my godfather was one of them and we used to go there to church every Sunday and we had our garden and our plants and we had everything there and it was our our little hub and the government tried to take them out by hands and feet and kick them out so that they could bulldoze the land down for a baseball field. And so these are all things that I grew up around that just being very passionate about our land and our resources and standing up for um, what we felt were important and um, just every time we would pull plants or we would take things to eat or farm or harvest or use you would always replant it or give back and you never take more than you need and that was another thing I learned from my family and uncles and all the different farming influences in my life and so when I started our company, I knew that was something really important for me is I only want to take as much as we can put back. Um, I refuse to use plants that I know are really endangered. I love our iliahi or sandalwood, and I've been wanting to use it, like I said, in one of our formulas, but um, not until I feel that I've really given back. So we've been purchasing quite a bit of our native sandalwood trees um, from a company called Hawaiian Legacy uh, Rainforest. I gotta look at the exact name, but um, trying to 
um, make sure that we grow enough of this iliahi before we use any of it. But just very important values for our company, alaha'ina, malama'ina, caring for the land, and again, our influences are just everybody I was brought up around. So I feel very blessed that I had that and I tried to instill it into my children as well. Thanks for tuning in guys and thank you so much Kapula for being here with us. It was such a pleasure and honor to get to share this video with you. If you haven't given Beauty Heroes a try, I know I say this every month, but this is indeed the month. Gonna put it down on record here, my favorite Beauty Heroes box ever. Um, I'm really head over heel in love with these products and I think it's gonna be a long love affair. <laughs> Bye.